Hey, this is Tyler with Thinkific, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz for your online course using Typeform. So, as you can see, I am on the homepage at typeform.com, and right in the middle here, there's a Get Started Now button. And you can actually create forms and quizzes with Typeforms uh, before you even create an account. I uh, know we've, we've used them for a while, so we already do have an account, uh, but you can still go through this process before even before you choose to sign up with them. Um, so this, the first thing that I would recommend doing is creating a workspace for your specific course. So as you can see, we've created a, quite a few forms and surveys and stuff before, but in the top corner here, I'm going to click click on workspace and add new workspace. This will just help you keep all of your different things organized. So let's just uh, call this one course number one as an example. So now I've got a fresh workspace. You know, there's no forms or quizzes created yet, but everything that I create uh, in inside of this workspace, I'll know is for uh, course number one. So, you know, as you create more courses, this just makes it easier to organize all of your quizzes and forms. So now that I'm ready to create a quiz, I'm going to click on create new type form. And I can either create one from scratch or I can use a template provided. And Typeform does have uh, many different templates for different purposes, but I do want to show you how to build a form uh, from scratch. So I'm going to click on Start from Scratch. Next, I need to choose a name for my quiz. So I'll just call this Lesson 1 Quiz and uh, click on Start Building. So this is the page where we create our quiz. Um, and once we've created the quiz, then we can change the design, you know, the look and the, and the, and the colors and so on of the quiz. Uh, and then there's some other options here as well. Um, but the first step in this process is to build the actual quiz. Um, now when people take a quiz, the first thing that you want them to do is arrive on a welcome screen. So I'm just going to drag this over here and we're going to create the welcome screen for this quiz. Uh, now you can add an image or a video if you like to your welcome screen. Uh, all you have to do is just click this little button here and turn that on. Then you can add an image, uh, you know, maybe your course logo or your company logo, something along those lines, or even a video if you like. You would just add the link here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to turn that off and create a very simple uh, welcome screen. I'll call this uh, course one. And then I can turn on a description as well. So I'll turn that on and just call this lesson one quiz. There we go. And so you can see the text shows up on the top and the description sh shows up just below it. Um, you can turn the button on or off. You can also change the text in the button. So I'm just going to change that text to take quiz and then go ahead and click on save. So that's the uh, the welcome screen that's finished. So now I can go ahead and create the first question in my quiz. And you'll notice there are a bunch of different types of elements that you can add to a uh, to a form. Because this is a quiz, I think I'm just going to stick with multiple choice. Uh, another good option is yes or no questions. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create a multiple choice question. So I'm just going to drag that over here, and then uh, and we'll put together the first question. Um, so I'll just keep it really simple, just as an example. Uh, so for this question, I'm just going to say, uh, what is the answer to this question? Um, we can turn on a description if we want. I could, let's say, uh, I'll just put, choose the correct answer below. So that's the description, and then we'll add some responses. So let's just call that answer number one. And then I'll click on this, uh, this green plus sign here to add another response. I'll call that answer two. I'll click on that again, answer three. And click on that again, answer four. So you can actually add you know, as many answers as you want. I think four is a good number for multiple choice. Uh, again, kind of like the welcome screen, you can add an image or a video you know, if it helps. You know, like provide some context to the question. I'm just going to leave that off for now. And then there's some other options down here. So is the question required? Um, yes, it will be required. Multiple sections. If you want to have multiple answers, you can turn that on. For this one, I'm just going to have one correct answer. 
Uh, randomize, I do recommend using that so that if somebody were to retake your quiz, it'll actually change up the order of the responses so that they do actually have to think about what the correct response is and not just you know which order they uh, they answered in the last time they took the quiz. Uh, you can force vertical alignment. So I'll turn that on. Right now you'll see that all the uh, responses are laid out horizontally. Uh, I'm going to change that to vertical. This is better if if you know your responses are longer sentences, then they can kind of you know take up more space across the page like that, and have the responses one on top of the other. And if you want, you can add an other option here. You would just turn on that. Uh, for for now, I'm just going to have these four responses as the options. So that's it. That's my first question with uh, four responses. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And now what we need to do is tell Typeform what the uh, what the correct answer is. So to do that, we're going to click on this icon here that says calculator. And we're going to add a calculation. So um, basically this is going to help uh, to put together a score so that somebody can see how they actually did on the test. So let's pick one of these answers as the correct answer. Uh, let's just say answer three is the correct one. So if the user answers answer number three, then add, uh, let's say, one point to the sum of the variable, which is their total score. So every time they get a correct answer, you're going to get you're going to give them a point basically. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that calculation. Oops, that adds a second one. So let's just remove that. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. So if somebody answers three to that question, they get a point. So now I'm going to create a second question and I think I'll create a yes or no question just as an example. So I'm just going to drag that right below that first question there. This will be our second question in the quiz. And uh, let's just make it really simple. We'll ask the question, uh, is the answer to this question yes or no? And then there's not really a need for a description because it's pretty straightforward for this one. I'm not going to add an image or a video just now, but I will make this question required. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now I've got a second question, and again, I need to choose which is the correct answer. So I'm going to click on Calculator, Add Calculation. Uh, let's say that yes is going to be the correct answer. So if the user answers yes, we're going to give them another point, and we'll go ahead and save that. So now we're going to create our thank you screen. So this is going to be the page where we show them the score that they got on their quiz. Uh, now with a two question quiz, there are going to be three possible scores. They can get zero out of two questions correct, one out of two correct, or two out of two correct. And if it was a three question quiz, then there would be four possible outcomes. If it was five questions, there would be six possible outcomes and so on. So we need to create three, three thank you screens. Um, and we'll customize the text on each one of those screens, uh, just kind of to you know give them a, sp a specific response based on whatever their score was. So we're going to create those three screen, those three screens, and then I'll show you how to uh, to connect them based on the responses that they get. So this one will be the screen that they see uh, if they got zero answers correct. Um, again, you can add images or videos. I'm just going to leave that off for now. You can have share icons if you like. Uh, I'm just going to turn those off. And uh, for this text here, there's this little drop down menu that says add the score. So we're going to tell them what their score was with this text. So let me just show you how that, how that works here. So uh, we'll put the text uh, you you answered and we're going to add the score out of two questions correctly and then we could probably uh, give them a suggestion for example you should probably try again and then we'll go ahead and change the text on that button to say try again and that's going to if they click on that, it's going to take them back to the form so that they can take the quiz again. So this is somebody who got zero out of two questions correct. You should probably try again. And then we'll click on Save. 
So now I'm going to create this second thank you screen, and this will be for if they get one out of two responses correct. So I'm just going to click on that, and we'll add the uh, the message in here. So let's say uh, you answered. We're going to add their score out of two questions correctly. And we'll say, uh, not bad. Want to try again? And then we can add the, the customize that button again to say try again, turn off the share icons, and um, just add a space there. And I will leave it at that. Click on save. And then let's create the last one. So let's call this you answered oops you answered again add the score out of two questions correctly so this is the one where they answered everything right so we could say something like you're a genius and then turn off the share icons Add a space there and go ahead and maybe we'll redirect them back to the course and call that return to course so whatever your course website is uh, you know you can put that here course website you can add that URL so that'll redirect them back to your course I'm gonna go ahead and click on save so now what we need to do is create something called a logic jump so after somebody finishes the the last question of the quiz they need to be taken to whichever one of these thank you screens is going to show them their their correct score um, so to do that we're going to click on this icon here this arrow that says logic jump and we only do this for the last question in the quiz so I'm going to click on that and then click on add a logic jump and this is going to be based on somebody's score so if someone's score is equal to zero which means they got no questions correct, and then they're going to be taken to that, uh, that first thank you screen that we, that we created. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that, and then create a second option. So if their score is equal to 1, that means they got one question correct, then we're going to take them to that second, uh, that second thank you screen that says, not bad, want to try again. And then the third option is that they got everything correct. So we're going to add a third logic jump that says if their score is equal to 2, then it's going to take them to that third thank you screen, which says you're a genius. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And just to make sure that everything works correctly, we can go ahead and click on view my type form. And we're just going to test this real quick. So here's the welcome screen uh, for the quiz. It says course one, lesson one, quiz. We'll go ahead and take the quiz. Uh, here's the first question. Uh, so the answer that we um, designated as the correct answer was answer number three. So I'm just going to click on that. And for that second question, the yes or no one, we made yes, the correct answer. So I'm going to click on yes. So if we did this correctly, we're going to click on submit. We should be taken to the thank you screen that says we got two out of two correct. And there it is. You answered two out of two questions correctly. You're a genius. So we can return to the course, uh, which in this case would take us to that link. Um, and, and in your case would be whatever the link to your course website or whatever page you want them to go to after they finish taking the quiz. So that works. Um, you can go ahead and test, you know, take your own quiz and, and do all three options, like get none of them correct, get one of them correct, just to make sure. But I'm pretty confident that we did this correctly. So the next step is to work on the design of the, uh, of the quiz. So I just clicked on design up at the top here. And from this page, we can do things like change the colors, change the fonts, even add a background image to the quiz, just to make it really consistent with, uh, with the branding for your online course. 
So we can change up the colors, um, and if you have any custom colors that you want to use, uh, you can change you know, the colors of the button, of your answers, of your questions, of your background. Um, I like to choose from the palettes here because they've got quite a few different uh, combinations of colors. So just as an example, I could click on uh, this one here, and it's going to give me kind of a grayish background blue buttons and uh, and black text so I think I'll just I'll go ahead and leave that for the color um, for the fonts you can change the font of your text if you like uh, I'll go ahead and try uh, Handley see how that looks um, that looks okay so I'll go ahead and save that or apply that to the form and then I'll go back and see um, if you wanted to add a background image you could do that as well you just have to upload an image and that'll uh, appear in the background I'm just gonna leave it without a background image for now um, so yeah that's how you can change up the uh, the design of your quiz just to make it look a little more consistent with whatever your branding is or the colors that you chose for your online course now the next page is the configuration page um, so you've got some some different options for the settings uh, you can change some some basic settings you know like the name of your quiz um, you can add a description an image things like that uh, you can integrate your quiz with different web apps uh, using Zapier you can play around with email notifications so for example if you want to receive an email when somebody completes your quiz uh, if you want them to receive an email you can customize the look of the progress widget which just shows them you know as they're taking your quiz how far along they are in the quiz um, so yeah feel free to, to play around with some of these settings um, once you've configured the settings the way you want it the next step is to distribute your quiz so I'm just gonna click on distribute up at the top here and there are a few ways you can share your quiz um, you get you do get a live link to your quiz right here uh, you can always share that link with somebody directly uh, you can open your type form uh, inside of a web page kind of as a pop-up you could also embed it in a web page um, they can they give you some code to do uh, to do that they've got some you know some information here on how to uh, on how to share the uh, how to share your quiz inside of a page um, and then once you've shared your quiz and people have taken your quiz you can analyze the responses um, so you can you know you can have a look at some pretty cool things like you know how many people have taken it uh, even what devices they use to take the quiz and all kinds of, uh, of information like that so I won't get into too much detail here but definitely spend some time you know analyzing the results of your quiz uh, but yeah for this video I just wanted to show you how to actually create a quiz for your online course and so I hope this was uh, this was helpful for you.